So uh, uh, here we are on Prashad Truma, and we're going to uh, ask a few questions and give basically one answer to all the questions. And um, I had the good fortune to listen to uh, a shir by Rabbi uh, Jonathan Sachs, who recently passed away, the chief uh, rabbi of England. And uh, I'll share a few of his ideas. And uh, so here we have, we're building a Mishkan, we're building this uh, temporary uh, temple. And the question is why? Why? It's the question. And the question also is why is in the book of Exodus? Why is it in Shmot, which is the book of the children of people coming together as a nation? It should have been in the book of Vayikra, which is all about Leviticus, all about Levi's, it's all about the priests, and it makes much more sense. And um, here is um, uh, Rav Sachs gives a very, very beautiful answer to this. And the following is, is that look what happens. The Jewish people uh, take them out of Egypt and the plagues, and then uh, the splitting of the Red Sea. There's a lot of miracles, a lot of miracles. And what's uh, the Jewish response to all these miracles? They complain. You would think, you know, you have a miracle. It would last a year or two, I'll be happy. No, now with these Jews, they're what's called, they're not so happy. And so, um, uh, so God realizes that, you know what makes someone really, really happy? What makes someone really, really happy is when uh, you bring out the best in them. You bring out the best in them. And so here, what does it say? It says, uh, everyone has to give a donation. These are asked to give a donation. You know what? God could have given a, uh, a tax. He, later on, he gives a tax. He says, you know, shekel. Yeah, everyone has to bring half a shekel. He says, why right up? Just make a tax. He says, no, I want to bring out the best in you. Call every person, whatever they want to volunteer. Some people want to volunteer their time. Some people want to volunteer their expertise. Some people want to volunteer, um, you know, money or gold or silver or whatever they had. But God wanted it to be a volunteer operation and to bring out the best in these people. And what happens is, is that when the best of them is brought out, so um, they come to this very happy place. When they're so involved with building this temple and, and being in this very happy place, so they're not so worried about the desert or the water and the food, they stop complaining. But there's also something else. And that is, is what, what are they doing? What they're doing is, you know, it's a little bit sad and maybe even sadder because we live in the world of COVID now is that um, there's a terrible disease going around the world. And you, you know what that disease is called? Most people think, oh, it's called COVID. Let me tell you, oh. there's, there's another disease that is even more potent and kills more people than COVID. You know what that disease is called? Apathy. Apathy, is, apathy is very close, but I was gonna say loneliness. People just, so many people die of loneliness. You know what? You, you ever look at a person and you know, they're, they're breathing and they're looking at you, but they're like dead? They're dead because they're lonely. And then as soon as someone, you know, people come together, they feel different. So this whole idea of the Mishkan was this idea is, 
us as the Jewish people, we're going to build something together. And um, that's why it's in the book of Exodus, which is the book of building the Jewish people, because they built something together. You know, on my guitar, I have different strings, right? Here's a string. Here's another one. Oh, here's another one. But when they're played together, they make music. You know, there's a, an ethos that we grew up we grew up with, um, and that uh, in America especially, and that is John Wayne, Clint Eastwood, Rambo. Right? Is this one person rides into town? There's some kind of problem, and he's going to solve it. And this and the other, and like there's a a myth, you know, in America saying, "Oh, I can do it." Right? What does Sinatra say? I did it my, my way. way. My way. You know what? Hey, you know what? You go to university. Jordan, you ever take a test? You go to school, you take a test? You yeah. sit at your table, right? You have a pencil, you have yeah. a pen, you got your paper, the teacher, you and who took the test? You took the test. I took the test. Who got the grade? You got the grade. Yep. Now, let me tell you a different way of, of learning. You know what you do? You take two people and they study together. Where does that happen that you have two people studying together? That is Jewish learning. It's called a chevruta, which is the word chaver, which means friend. It also means to connect. The traditional way of studying throughout the ages has always not been one person, but it's been two people studying together. That's why if you go to any university, if you go to any library in the world, what is the job of the librarian? Shh, quiet, right? Then you go to yeshiva and what do you hear? It's very noisy because everyone's talking out loud because it's not about me. It's about coming together as a collective. But you know what? It's not only about coming together as a collective. Uh, Stephanie, uh, you have a degree, you have like what, a degree in social work and, and psychology. What's your degree in? So on Stefan's degree, it says this degree was given to Stephanie, Finnish University. But you know what? When you become a rabbi, you also get a piece of paper. And what does it say on the piece of paper? It says this was given to Yoshua Rubin, the son of uh, Yitzchak Rubin. I understand. Why is my father on my smicha? He didn't do the test. But the idea is, is that even my accomplishments, they're not my own. There's a oneness, there's a togetherness. So what God was trying to tell us is that in order for us to attain happiness, in order for us for an order to really feel happy, we need to battle against this terrible disease called loneliness. And so God says, make a mishkan, bring it together. And you know, you know who else figured this out? The other person who figured this out was Esther. What does Esther say to Mordechai? She says, Lech knoset kol Go bring the Jews together. What do we know about the Jews? We know that if you look in the chapter one of the book of Esther, chapter two, chapter three, you know one word you'll never find in, the, in those chapters? The word Jews. Why? Because the Jews were hiding. And the terrible things happened. They're all spread out. But then Esther says, bring them together. And from that point, from that point, everything changes. You know, it's a beautiful thing when Jews come together. It's noisy and it's messy and it's kogol and it's cholent. And, but you know what? It's so happy. It's so happy. Let me tell you something. I don't have anything against the Christians. I only have one problem with the Christians. You know, if you go to mass, right? Stephanie, do you ever go to Mass? You don't have to answer that. But if you go to Mass, right, and you go to confession, do you know why the Jews never go to confession? Not the confession, I'm sorry. When they go, they get the Eucharist. You know why? What do they give you? They give you a wafer, right? You ever see Correct. those wafers? They're small, right? 
correct. You know why Jews aren't lining up? It's not Google. Give me a schmack to piece of Google. <laughs> it was a good piece of Google. Give me a bowl of Jolent. You see, to be Jewish means I'm together with other Jews. It means that we're building something together. And that's a beautiful thing. And so what God says is that here, build something together. Everyone will donate whatever they can donate. And just like when you bring the strings of the guitar together, there's incredible happiness. So also when the Jews were building this Mishkan together, they created tremendous happiness. So let us just be blessed that we as Jews work together to build something beautiful. Nine, nine, nine. <laughs>